Hey MeBits, it's Bojangle Guy. Um, just wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to 3D print your MeBit. Um, first thing you want to do is just start in the Discord server uh, under this information channel. Uh, and then there's this 3D print guide here. Uh, when you click on this 3D print guide, it's going to take us to this Larva Lab site. We're going to use this just to get to these two links. So we need Shapeways and we need Magic of Voxel. Um, Shapeways we'll talk about a little later. That's the site we're actually going to use to print the MeBit. Magic of Voxel is the program we're going to download in order to get the file that we need to print the MeBit. So uh, first thing you're going to do is just go to Magic of Voxel. So you're going to click this link here. It's going to bring us to Magic of Voxel's website. Um, I would recommend just downloading the latest version that they have here. Don't go into any betas or anything like that. Just go ahead and click download latest. And then if you're on Windows or Mac, uh, just depending on what you're on, you're going to choose your software here. I'm on Windows. I'm going to click this Windows and it's just going to open this zip folder for me and then I'm going to have the Magic of Voxel program right here that I can then go ahead and open. So super easy, it takes like two seconds to download. Once you have that downloaded, uh, there's a couple things we need to get ready in order to get the file that we need. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to actually going to want to go to the MeBits website. The easiest way to get to this is just from this same server channel. We're going to click the MeBits website here and that is going to take us to the MeBits website. Just make sure that you're doing this from a browser that will have your wallet connected to it. If you're using a browser that doesn't have MetaMask or whatever wallet you're using, you're not going to see this button here. That's It's actually going to say connect wallet instead of showing your wallet like mine is here. Um, so you're going to just connect your wallet, approve the transaction, sign it, do everything you need to do. And then once you do that, you're going to be able to come into your account on the MeBits website and see all the different MeBits that you own. Uh, so whatever MeBit you're wanting to print, you're going to just click on that MeBit. And then it's going to pull up the different files that we as owners have access to download. All we need to do is grab this 3D model for printing file. Um, you're going to grab that file. You can just click it. It's going to automatically download it. Uh, for me, it's going to go straight to my downloads. And then we're going to take that file and we're going to use that in Magic of Voxel. So I've already got mine loaded in here. I'll show you how to do it just so you guys can see. What you're going to do as soon as Magic of Voxel opens, in fact I'll just reopen this just so you guys can see. It's going to come up blank just like this. You're going to just click this folder right here and then when you click that folder all we need to do is just find our MeBit file which for me is this file right here. So wherever it's saved to just go ahead and find that file, click open, and your MeBit's going to show up. He's going to be face down like this, which is totally fine. You can spin him around if you grab this little cube down here. Um, and that's it. That's all we need to do. We just need to put it into Magic of Voxel and then export it out as an object. So down here in this bottom right corner, we're going to export as an object. And then in this case, I'm going to export it to my desktop just so it's super easy for me to find. When I export this as an object, it's actually going to export three different files. So you'll see here now it's exported these three files for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of these files and I'm just going to send to a compressed folder. So I'm going to send to a compressed folder. What that's going to do is create for me a zip folder with these three files that are inside of it. And this is the file that we're going to need to then give to Shapeways. So once you got that done, all we need to do is go back into the Larva Labs uh, website and click this Shapeways link and that's going to bring you to this page. When you get to this page you're going to click get a quote and when you click that it's going to allow you to import your file. All you're going to do here is select that zip folder because that's the file that Shapeways is going to need. Um, once you do that and I actually have already done it to save time it's going to bring your MeBit up and it's going to look just like this. So you're going to come to this site. Um, now what's going to happen here is when you first import your MeBit, it's probably going to be tiny. It's going to be like one centimeter tall. So what you need to do is come in here and click this resize button. And when you click this button, whether you operate in centimeters, millimeters, inches, whatever, I'm in the US, so I, I go by inches. We only want to change the Z axis. So in this case, I want a six inch tall MeBit. And so I'm going to change this Z axis to six inches. And then I'm going to just click save. And it's going to take a minute. It's going to load. Um, 
and change that scale for me, you'll notice the website will load and it, it can take a bit depending on your internet connection and, and just the site. So just let that load up and then you'll be able to check your dimensions down here once it's loaded in just to make sure that you have the correct dimensions. So we'll let this load in and it will take it just a second. I've had this take 10 seconds. I've had it take like two minutes. So just be patient. I'm going to look at this again in inches and I've got my Z axis at six, which is exactly what I want. So this is my six inch tall model. And then all you got to do is go over here and choose your material. What you want to do is choose the high definition full color material. And then you want to choose matte high definition. The matte will give your me bit a more smooth appearance. And so you want to go with the matte option. And then from there, all you got to do is add to cart, check out, and you'll have your me bit on its way.